Alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO set review from Brick by Brick, and today we have a set number 9484. This is the LEGO Cars 2 Reds Water Rescue set, containing 199 pieces for 19.99, so pretty much exactly 10 cent per piece price, uh, price per part ratio. And this was one of the last um, Cars 2 sets, I mean they did make more sets for Cars 3 eventually, though those were all 4 plus. But um, this was part of the last wave which came out in 2012 and uh, I got pretty much all the 2011 ones back when they were released but this was one of the ones that I didn't get. I think, I think I only got one or two of the 2012 sets uh, back when they first came out. But the uh, instruction manual is nothing too special. It does have this cool little checklist at the back showing all of the cards and at this point I believe the only two car sets that I don't have are the Ivan Mater one and that Finn McMissile one, but I did just order that so that'll be coming soon. And then I would just need Ivan Mater and I think I think that's all of them. Yeah. Um, so that'll be cool to have. Uh, also the Oil Rig Escape which was the big set from 2012. And just look at the box. Uh, the front side you know, just shows red and Acer. And the top shows red and Acer. And the back shows red and Acer because that's all that's in this set. But you know, it is. It's kind of nice to uh, see one of these Cars 2 boxes again. And this one does have red in the bottom corner. Acer is not exclusive to this set. I mean, technically with this build, it sort of is. It's like a combination between uh, Acer, which a bit, and the Spy Jet Escape. The prints are all from that, so there's nothing exclusive to this particular one. But the build of it is a little bit different because he does have this welding mask, uh, which you can move up and down, which is kind of cool. This is a really nice way to build one of these, you know, based on the beginning of the movie. And I guess, I think, sort of towards the end too. Um, but it also has this fuel tank on the back, as well as this little flamethrower, which doubles as a flick fire missile shooter, and you can just shoot that off, um, like so. Um, now, it's a pretty decent looking, you know, way to build this up. Um, I mean, as far as, you know, accuracy to the movie character, it's not, not the best. It could be better, but... You know, it's not terrible, and I think that this is a passable version. He's kind of missing, like, a like a bottom bumper. It would have been nice, maybe, if they could have printed, uh, like, a maybe moved the mouth up a little bit on that piece and just printed a gray strip around the bottom. But, you know, I mean, it's, it's fine for what it is. Uh, and, you know, essentially, more so than just being Acer, this is just supposed to be a bad guy car. So, you know. It, I mean, they picked the Acer to look like, or to be the one that they're trying to portray, but, you know, you could really just use this as any of them. Um, the roof is also a little bit round for, you know, the shape of this vehicle, but uh, I think overall, you know, it's fine, and it definitely fits the Lego cars um, mold. You know, it, it looks like... Uh, it looks like it belongs, you know. Not all of them are the most accurate, but they're a little bit... Lego stylized, and I think that this works for, you know, that kind of standard. And then here we have Red, and Red actually looks pretty good as well, um, I think. He's probably one of the more detailed cars. He's the only one that's, like, you know, uh, larger than four studs wide, aside from Mac, and I guess if you count Siddeley and the boat, um, those ones are more than four wide too, but they're also quite different. Um, it's a pretty good fire truck build at its core. You obviously cannot fit minifigures inside of it. You could, um, you know, modify it a bit if you wanted to. Like, you could reuse these stickers, um, to make your own fire engine, but you'd have to do some customizing in the front. Um, if you really wanted to buy this set just to turn it into a regular city fire truck, but I don't really know, um, how many people would want to do that. Like, there's plenty of pretty decent city fire trucks as it is. Uh... As far as the accuracy, I think that this looks pretty good. The prints for him are pretty nice. Uh, I think that, you know, that that works pretty well. They do reuse this print from Finn McMissile uh, from a couple of the other sets from 2012. Uh, the mouth and eyes, though, I think those are pretty good. Uh, the eyes especially, I think, work really well for this character. Um, you know, it, it's it, it's got a pretty decent look to it. I like the stickers again. Just the Radiator Springs Fire Department and Fire Department written down there. You know, the design of that is pretty good. Uh, this section seems a little bit long, but you know, it does have a sticker as well, and that sticker is just duplicated on your side. He is completely symmetrical side to side, aside from the fact that he only has one extra missile. 
on the back. Um, you know, the back of them looks pretty good. You can move the ladder up and down. Uh, this area maybe would have been nicer if it was tiled over, but, you know, uh, it's just not that big a deal there. Um, up here on the front, instead of having the water hose, um, you know, replicated somewhat accurately, they just use a flick fire missile shooter, which, you know, for play works, but, you know, if you wanted something a little bit more accurate, maybe you would want to build something different to uh, replace that. And he does have the little red light up at the front, which I think works decently well. Maybe it could be done a little bit better nowadays that they have, like, hollow studs and stuff, but. For the time that this came out, I think that, that was probably the best solution for that, especially to get it a little bit further forward um, as it had to be. But, yeah, I mean, the build for this guy, I think, works definitely within the context of LEGO cars. Um, you know, even if it's not the most accurate, like, technically, there, this should be, there should be two of these hoses on each side. Um, but, you know, for what this is, I think that it is pretty decent. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess one other minor critique is that I believe that this back section should be down a little bit lower. Um, but, you know, it doesn't really bother me all that much. And I think that, you know, as a whole, I'm happy to have gotten this finally. And, yeah, that's, that's all that there is to this set. Um, it's actually not that bad a value. Um, you know, I think that... Red is definitely worth ten dollars. Acer is probably worth like five, um, but eh, maybe maybe red's probably worth more than ten because they do sell, or they did sell the uh, juniors cars three sets, um, ten dollars a car. So you know, I think and the uh, single car sets like Finn and uh, Ivan Mater and Francesco those were seven dollars each. So you know if you say Acer is seven dollars, red is probably the other thirteen. So. You know, that's pretty good. One other thing that I did want to point out is that you do get a couple of extra pieces in the set, including one of that printed piece um, that they use for the front of red. And for some reason, you get an extra 1x2 cheese lope in the set. Uh, I guess they were relatively new when the set came out. Uh, I think this might have been the first year that they were out. So I don't know if they just chose to give everyone an extra one of those for some reason. Um, but Bricklink says that they did, so I guess... Sure, that makes sense. Uh, but, no, I guess it's nice enough to get an extra piece. Um, but, yeah, I mean, overall, while, you know, they aren't spot-on, super-duper accurate um, models of these cars, I think they are pretty good playthings, and they definitely, you know, are pretty decent legoifications of the characters. Uh, and, you know, they will definitely fit right in with all the others and i'm happy to add red to uh, my radiator springs display to finally finish it off with all the radiator springs characters so hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little review if you did let me know in the comment section down below and i will see you guys all next time bye everyone